notes for solve the equations number one. All right, we're going to do quite a few of these on the notes just to kind of get in practice. Um, and uh, then you have a practice to do for yourself. First thing, you need to remember that you have two sides of the equal sign. And on an equation, what you do on one side, you have to do to the other side. The goal is to get C by itself, or get one C, and it must be left positive, not negative. So what I have here, because the four is right next to the C, that is multiplication. We undo multiplication by the opposite operation, which is division. So all I have to do is come along here and divide both sides by negative four. Negative four divided by negative four gives you a positive one, so you end up with one C, and we generally don't write the one. We leave it off, but I'll just write it there for the moment. And 20 divided by negative four, when you have a positive divided by a negative, you end up with a negative, so you end up with negative five. Okay, if you have problems with division, think about it as the opposite operation of multiplication. Negative 4 times what would give you a positive 20? All right, so in algebra land, you would write this as 5 is equal to C. Now, some people have problems solving when the variable is on the right-hand side. There is no reason in the world why for this problem you couldn't rewrite it as negative 4c is equal to 20. It's going to give you the same thing, divide by negative 4, and you end up with c is equal to, neg is equal to I'm sorry, negative 5. And I should have put a negative sign over here. All right? So if you need to rewrite it so the variable is on the left side that's okay to do um, you just want to kind of get in the, get more comfortable with the fact that the variable could be on either side let's do number two now here we have remember on front of that f we have a one it's the invisible one and we have f plus three equals negative eleven well this, we need to get that variable isolated, so it's all by itself. So the opposite operation to adding 3 is subtracting 3. And if we do that to one side of the equal sign, we must do it to the other side of the equal sign. Therefore, we bring down our f or our 1f. This plus 3 and minus 3 cancel each other out and make 0, but we don't write the 0. We bring down our equal sign, and we have essentially a negative 11 combining with a negative 3, which is like saying negative 11 plus negative 3. But, so we're going to end up with negative 14. Please box your answers so they're easy for your teacher to find. Number 3. You have n divided by 5 is equal to 8. Well, this I could rewrite as saying one fifth n is equal to eight. That would be the same thing. And how we get rid of a fraction, I know it's been a long time, but if you did one fifth times five over one, which is its inverse or its reciprocal, okay? 1 times 5 would give you 5. 5 times 1 would give you 5. So you would end up with a 1. And that's our, our goal here, is to get 1n. So you simply can do both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5 over 1. And then what you do on one side, you have to do to the other side. Remember that this is going to cancel each other out and you end up with n is equal to, well, when you're doing multiplication of a whole number times a fraction, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to write it for you. It would be 8 over 1 times 5 over 1, and you would multiply straight across for fractions. 8 times 5 is 40, and 1 times 1 is 1, so your answer would be 40. Okay, 
Let's look at number four. We have negative 7b is equal to 49. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, this is multiplication. The opposite operation is to divide, and I'm going to divide by a negative 7 because a negative divided by a negative gives you a positive, and you need to leave your variable positive. And what I do on one side of the equation, I have to do on the other side of the equation. That cancels those out. You end up with a positive b, and 49 divided by negative 7 gives you negative 7. Please box your answers. All right, let's look at number 10. We have 10 equals k minus 6. So if you have k minus 6, the opposite operation, you want to get this k by itself, is plus. So you add 6 to both sides of your equal sign. That cancels your negative 6 and your positive 6 leaves 0. We don't write it. The only thing left on this side is k. We bring it down. And then we just have to do 10 plus 6 equals 16. All right, let's do the other side just because I want to make sure I've done enough examples to help you out. And then you have examples to look on for the, your notes to be able to do your work. We have 4r is equal to 20. Well, 4r means you are multiplying 4 times r. Remember, the opposite operation is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. This 4 divided by 4 leaves you 1. So you're going to have 1r, or r, 20 divided by 4 gives you 5. And that is your answer. It's that simple. All right, negative 8 is equal to negative 3 plus y. Remember, we want to leave our y by itself. Now it's on that opposite side of the, of the equation. It's on the right. If you need to come back and write that as negative 3 plus y is equal to negative 8, it means the exact thing. If you are only comfortable with your variables on the left side, then go ahead and rewrite it. Here, I need to get y by itself, so a negative 3, the opposite is a positive 3. If I add 3 to that side, I'm going to add 3 to that side. We're zero pairing this. We want to end up with 0, so that cancels out. We bring our y down, and we end up with negative 8 plus 3, which gives us negative 5. Now, I'm going to show you that this is going to be the same thing. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. The 3's cancel out, and I end up with y is equal to negative 5. So same answer, just written a different backwards kind of, all right? All right, here again, here's that division. It looks scary, but this is 1 6. So what's the reciprocal or the inverse of 1 6? 6 over 1. So multiply this side by 6 over 1, multiply this side by 6 over 1, and you end up canceling your 6's. You end up with x, and you end up with 6 times 12, which is 72, and 1. And I'm going to show you that down here. 6 over 1 times 12 over 1 gives you 72 over 1, which is just 72. So it's really not scary at all. When you have that fraction, just multiply by the opposite, um, which 1 over 6, the opposite is the whole number 6. Okay? Two more to do. We have a 3 plus D. We have a negative 9 is equal to 3 plus D. Well, this is positive. We don't write it here, but it is. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. Those cancel out. Negative 9 combined with negative 3 gives you negative 12 is equal to D. Done. Last example for today is negative 12 is equal to 2Z. Well, 2 times Z, that's multiplication. Anytime you have a number right next to a variable, you are multiplying those. We want to undo that operation, and we use the opposite operation, we divide by 2, we divide by 2, and we get z is equal to negative 12 divided by 2 is going to give us negative 6. 
please box your answers so your teacher can find them easily. So these are your notes. I've gone through every problem on your notes. The problems that you have today are very, very similar to these notes. So you should be able to find a problem that is like these on your notes and be able to go back and, and follow the steps that I've done and be successful. Have a great day.